If God ever bless you with an opportunity to leave this country, or if you're already there, you're already staying there, please do not ever return back to this country. In fact, this country is not a country, it's just a nation. Don't ever return back to this nation called Nigeria. And I think everybody prayer point, every family prayer point should be, please God, grant us one son, one daughter who has the opportunity to travel out of this country so that you can change the generation. These are not my words, guys. These are the words of Peace Square, Paul Okoye, popularly known as Root Boy. Root Boy was on Instagram Live yesterday talking about his life story, about how his brother uh, Jude, him, and uh, Peter Okoye, popularly known as Mr. P, sat down to discuss their life history when they were in University of Abuja and how they come about making decisions that have changed their lives forever. Now, they have houses abroad, and now they are really living good. So, he was just sharing some kind of inspirational message and uh, giving us some straight advice. So, it's left for you to follow. So, I'm going to leave you with a video. Watch it and tell me, and as you watch, also leave your comment and tell me what you take, your own take from this uh, live video. It's a very long video, almost 20 minutes, but uh, it's worth it. If you watch it, it's really, really worth it. So bye guys, enjoy Just the rest of the video. Your mind. Whether your family or distance family or your own generation you want to create, make sure say somebody travel abroad. Mm. When I say mm. travel abroad, come back. Trust me, bro. maybe the picture of the person will show now. Mm. Why I'm telling you guys this thing, eh? You know, say government and then travel pass. And mm. I believe they travel and see things. Oh, absolutely. And they see those things and come back. Their own country is mm. The only thing I'll tell you guys is that you might not understand me. You might not be in the same position with me. You might not understand the angle where I'm going to. The day you travel outside Nigeria, leave America or Europe or in, um, uh, in, um, in Canada. See, I can give you like four countries. Let me. Care. I can just give you four countries in Africa, so you understand what I'm saying. South Africa, one Morocco, mm. Egypt. Mm -hmm. See, um, there's one um, uh, Madagascar, mm. Seychelles. Let me tell you, when you travel those countries, finish, then yeah, come back. Yeah, you know that even the air that you're breathing, mm. yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so people. I'm going to tell you guys this, and I'll repeat it. Try as much as possible. The number one goal now, if you like, you look for, you see, you see this country bag, leave it up, bag, whatever, drop it. People, mm. me, you say coronavirus don't come. It, this way, don't touch me. So the expensive life. You can see, yeah, this is all life, right. how to generate more. If the, another crisis comes, many people will say, ah, I don't care, I don't think today, hunger will kill me. People, wise up. Change the team of this uh, discussion today from Kaha to Great Magai. The team of this thing is make sure you change your generation. Let that they hear. Oh. But these kids can travel everywhere in this world. Yeah. As in. Me, I go this one. I go this one. I go that one. I go this one. Do you know how many shows I don't miss because of appointment? Boss. I say, I say, before I get British passports, eh? when me and my kids come to Nigeria, will they come back to the UK? No, they, as in, if you see the way that they separate us, they will say, ship, go this side, go, go this side. As in, I go, they look my own children, they go another side. They, they will just put their passport on top of the shield. Bam! They walk out. Then me, for my own queue. They will come, they say, excuse, excuse me, what, where, where, where have you just traveled from, my? Somebody say, how do you want to survive without <laughs> enough money in abroad? My sister, <laughs> if you, let me tell you what you don't know. We're not talking about going to abroad. Eh? Then, one day, pick you, This is some of them, they think fast, fast. Mm. One affair is come back. You go, could I you come, they think what you do. That, that's what it means. But if you be that tough time, go, they try wrong, go. Come leave for there, you won't go there. No, you, you, don't, you are not planning. My sister, what are you talking about? Changing generation. I'm not talking about you. Come back to Nigeria and continue to suffer. Don't worry. Hey. You are your child. Go to American citizen. Before you know uh, something, uh, you, go, you, you go get America. You say you sit down for America, but now just one thing 
when you sacrifice and change your life. Don't tell no, me. Of course now. Don't tell me. How, don't you say how will you survive without? Don't wait in Nigeria. Don't be there. You don't die since. As in a uh, dead since. Uh, dead but I mean, see, first of all, eh, first of all, make people agree. Let them agree on the fact that in just be see. Being a Nigerian alone, being a Nigerian, you, you get sometimes, boss. Let, let me just tell you a very quick story. Oh. This one, a very short story. I'll just tell you the day when I get my British passport. Because I know they put things online, oh, but there was a time I was depressed. I didn't know I was depressed because I was, I was in Nigeria. Oh. The day I knew that my depression was as a result of I'm a Nigerian living abroad and going through the oppressions of somebody coming from such a country. Yeah? Now, the day when I collect my British passport, do you know that? The day when I hold on for hand, the day when I hold on for hand, daddy, I can't sleep nine hours, ten hours straight. No, as in, I can't dream good dream. Do you understand? Because before, before, just thinking about the fact that I even have family in Nigeria going through things, yeah, being in a country where they say, do you know if you apply for job, you get where you go feeling part of, you know, just play like, where is your originality? Where do you come from? What kind of visa do you have? What kind of... See, the moment you put in your details, they don't even call you for job interview. Do you understand? Hmm. But the moment you put in that you are a citizen, you are from here, automatically, now, as in, just have just the minimum. The, a British citizen that went through college, they will call you for interview than a Nigerian who has a PhD. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. And then tell people this today, the one day, where people the idea. And then somebody say, if you like it, eh, school for you need that, you need this, you need all those private universities, eh? school <laughs> finish, graduate. Go, go America, go Europe, go work, go work. You go start from beginning. Then they you go start from beginning, now who are you? Who, who are you? This is so bullshit. You people don't know. Bro, they don't know about it. No, me, I didn't see See, okay. no, not from experience. I'm, no, at the time, at the time, at the time, people would listen. Let me tell you guys, do you people don't know? You think all this way they go here, they go university, finish your career, quality, can I go abroad? Because she said, I'm a child, I need a lag. Bah! Bah, <laughs> sorry. My sister, you got that thing drop outside, you go back to school. Uh uh. Yeah. That is that rubbish. No, it's bullshit now. Nobody, nobody care about all of that. At the time you say, at the time you say, See, my wife will finish school everything, do master's here, back, 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 back. She go and go. The tell she will start afresh. Baba, I worked in a project management office. I'm talking about a, around 2013 or so. Eh? My bosses, my bosses, my own bosses. So I'm talking about top men, top men. I tell them say I get masters. They say, excuse me, what did you just say? I say I have masters. He said, hang on, you, you actually have a degree and you also have a master. I said, I get, I get BSc, I get mm -hmm. master's degree. These people that have been my bosses, they don't, fit, they don't, they don't get BSc. They need a three months training. Prince 2. Prince, do you know what Prince 2 is? Prince 2 is a project management course. This is what they did. I go to school, like, as in, I go to school where well, I write my, oh my God. See me, I want to talk to you when I do. When I did my <laughs> master's, eh? when, I did, when I did my master's degree, uh, when I come go do my project, I travel to Nigeria to come and do a primary study. When I knew primary study, I went around Abuja hospitals to collect data. I can't tell you what happened then. Upon say I come back to my own country to conduct study, do you know that even the, the Ministry of Health, they refused me to even take data for my own projects. Say I must pay. I can't say, how do you want this country to move forward in the first place? How? How? You and me as a Nigerian citizen, I call my own country, my collect data. Then they push me from one office to another. You go one office. When I come finally reach from my office, they say I have to pay. I say, wow. I'm coming to do something that's probably gonna benefit not just you, but the, the society at large. You are telling me I have to pay. Mm -hmm. eh? And then I'll come carry, I can't finish the school, carry my certificate, go find work. Person when no give me the work, no even go to school. <laughs> you understand? So that's what tell you. That's what tell you that the country where we come, things are as in. Come on, I say, I say, each time I see, God know, God knows that before I had kids, I only said to my, no way, Baba. They don't. Do you know there was a time I was deported from the UK? Wow. I came, I, I came back to Nigeria. Eh? They know I not enter UK again. No. See. Wait, 
everything I do, I say, God, this is my plan. Anything he go do for me to make sure, say, I settle. My children, they as in, uh, uh, my, my children now, they don't they, my, they lived in Nigeria for like three, three, four, five years now. I know my middle, as far as I say, they, they, they came to Nigeria as, a, as British citizens. My own be say, anything I'm going to do, or my kids, but, but I make you know, be saying only Nigerian passport they get like me. And they tell you, say, I will come, me and them go come reach UK airport. They go separate us. They go say, excuse me, um, 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 your kids, what passport have they got? I go say, they've got British passport. Right, okay, so um, do you want them to go with their mom to the other side? That's why we've got the British people. Okay. And um, you, you've got a Nigerian passport? I go say, yeah. Right, so if you've got a Nigerian passport, you see the queue over there, you see the people standing mm -hmm. there, yeah, can you join them? Please, all right. You know, I, I go carry my... Then, when these people, my own, don't, they don't carry passport, go. Don't come away from me two hours. Two, two, two hours I see the queue. Two, three hours I'm still on the queue. Wait, they're going to wait for me to, 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 to come out. Why? Because of the passport you have. They'll come go, they do random scanning, say, and this bag. Then we, 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 we did a ra random this thing. So we always said, the Congo they sat out now. Why? It's because of our nation no get mounts. Nigeria no get mounts. Everything, when you, when it comes to employment here, when it comes to our, everything is just messed up. But the problem is when you come there, when you start complaining now to people, when you start, they go say, hey, una una, na keyboard warrior. You go mm -hmm. to the top, blah, blah, blah. You know? See, what? Why? You see, eh? it's sad. What I used to see is very sad. And you see, I, I, I did not just wake up one day and just said, I want to change my life. I'm a graduate. I graduated from the University of Abuja. Even do extra semester because of music matter. Because on a hustle, I'm not sad. Yeah. But trust me. They get one decision where we take. I can remember with my other brother Jude. Mm. Unfortunately, all of us just graduated at the same period. Mm. So me, they were waiting for me because I did do I did write my project. I go to go submit my project. So when I go to I finish come come back. My brother, you know the, you know soccer well. I don't know what they call it for English, but I suck away with the girl. Well, 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 well. Bro, now there we sit down. Eh? See, I will never forget that day. No, no, not to say we we'll, we'll sit down somewhere where they corporate, maybe the restaurant or in a bar or in a lounge. Talk about mm. my life. My brother, that place, the smell. Mm. Eh? The place, the smell. Dusty, shit. But now there we we'll sit down and say, Father Lord. Eh? This thing could end. And Jude, Jude always said, see, make a tell on a something. Eh? The earlier we change this our generation. Mm. Eh? Otherwise, this left will this thing will this because the, bro, that just will get talent for just but bro, eh? Mm. When I say talent today, but you know the, the spirit of mental what is there for Lagos, also no day. Mm. Talent is there. But I have to go by it. Don't be like here, yeah, Lagos. I have to go by it. There are different ways. Bro, when we took that decision, eh? I will enter Lagos. You know, you know what? You don't tell you the, the decision we took. Our aim and our goal was just to come at Lagos to come with one million naira. You let me that one million naira for. So we for success for this but we'll longer transport to go London, America. <laughs> Oh God. God. That was because you remember what, what did I say? That is the part of changing that generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our goal. That was how we came to Lagos. Then forget say that music will carry common. But mm -hmm. that time we did just we play show now, 10k, 8k, 5k, you know, mm -hmm. like that. Okay, it was okay. But say we enter Lagos was to make our goal that one million naira. Bro, once we make this one million naira, that's what I don't go. Mm. Why? Now, why do, do, let, let me tell you people, look at even the politicians, the oil companies, the mm. people that know Look where, where, where you hear, listen to how they, they take rich there. Now, one uncle, or one mm. elder brother, the younger brother, well, need to do this. And did it. And did it. Yeah. You take a very well. Somebody went to somewhere, traveled, came back, and carried this person go. 
So this one called God and that person. Uh, that's uh, how that generation changed. That's true. That's true. That's true. Absolutely. Not the joke. That's true. That's that true. is how the generation changed. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, I don't laugh. See, shout out to the people that do office work. <laughs> shout out to all of you. Let me, uh, because what I was saying now, you don't say me a video, but if I talk real, if you like me, if you say I discriminate, I don't discriminate. Mm. Shout out to everybody who work for office. Shout out to everybody. But let me tell you guys something. Come on, oil company. Come on, telecommunication. Mm. If you receive salary anywhere, you cannot build a house. No, definitely not. In Nigeria, fire. No. When I say build a house, I'm not talking about building a house in the village. No, if okay. you receive some salary, the answer person, okay, good morning, sir. If and you know you they the salary. And you know they give the person money. You, you can you, 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 you can build a house, you can build a home. There's a difference. <laughs> the house can be one room. <laughs> you cannot build a house. And you can you the truth. No, 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 of course, of course. No, true that. True that. True that, true that. If they collect a salary, you know they take your guy money. <laughs> because ah uh, no, uh, see uh, the, the 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 truth is, in fact, if in fact, make I ever tell people, eh, take home, take home advice, take home advice, take home advice. Yeah. It's more money when you get, eh. Mm. No go do elaborate massive because some people now know they do wedding again a concert they do. You know, save your small money, save your small money. If you carry make make may they burn your picking for another side, may they claim another nationality. Anytime Nigeria will be good. But is it not is it good is it good by elder and a wise mm. man? Bro, I do my wedding and not what I do for my wedding. Bro, I carry flight, I charter flights, the book celebrities, they launch them, they put them everything. Mm. Bro. When I spend how much I spend, I say Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't make me that money to buy me complete one plot of land for Lekki. You, you can't imagine. You can't imagine. And, and do you know the funny thing? And do you know the But if they touch me, because my brother too, when they were supposed to do a word in Jude, my other brother did a word. You know what did you do? You did the typical trad you, you go, you know that village um, international wedding. Mm. Thank you. Now, nah, before you know something, like, God bless me, they borrow money from Jude. You can imagine. For UK, for UK, for UK, eh? For UK, do you know that, for UK, do you know that, do you know that Nigerians, Nigerians, they collect loan from uh -huh. governments to they do wedding. So, where after wedding, they'll come start to pay back, small, small. To me, I feel like, why did they, what, what is the point? When the way they say, once people come, chop price finish, after two days, wallahi, they will not remember anything. Bro, that's why I said, you see, this time, but things could change. I'm not talking about, you know, some people get money to do big work. It's okay. I'm not, I'm no, not. No, 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 if you get money, spend that more. I'm talking about those ones. Because, bro, let me tell you, eh, and some even my parents, they did it. They know where they do. Go, they meet some, um, so people then they go meet my father, then they beg money for wedding. They go, they beg. They go, go. I understand it, but please, I think we don't wise up all of us now. Can you just do something according to your, to your pocket? If you don't have it, my bro, my bro. Are you paying Reverend Father or the church? Mm. Do everything for that. That's it. The best I can tell you, just make sure you do it on, don't do it on Saturday. It's mm. Sunday. Yeah. So Saturday. So um, uh, typical Nigeria will don't cook rice on Saturday. Yes. On yes. Sunday, we will cook rice. Do it on Sunday morning. If you don't finish, come back out. I as well go add five, six more moodles. For six more noodles of rice, small tomato, five thin tomato, big big ones, add and there, add maggi, add three or four chicken. You don't chop, you don't. <laughs> Save Re reception, money. reception don't finish. <laughs> reception don't finish. <laughs> Carry one of your friends, this one MC. What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but people, but people, people need to wise enough, shall Ah, people need to wise enough. The most, the take home, the take home advice where you they talk about. The take home advice. If you get your small money, save them. Um, 
invest in your children. Uh, see, trust me. That's no, you don't go South Africa now. Johannesburg Airport. Johannesburg Airport. One lie, when I got there, I don't believe in Africa again. As in, I'm like, I'm like, uh, from, from, my, from my head, I say, ah, so even from Africa, I say, I know, says, I know, Bro, says, I know, where you going? Nigeria, you did? Yeah? Huh? Nigeria, you did? No, I did London, I did London. You did London? <laughs> yes. Please, let me just give you another. Because you don't want to talk day deep. The next person of people, they say that joke, they did. Mm. I want to give you two minutes. I want you to advise people. Mm. I want you to t- see when I say advice, I don't no matter if you like use the bad word. I don't want to be like, but you say no, no, be 